swapping out the rear wheel assembly hub on my 93 Honda Accord station wagon. Um, so this hub is 120 bucks because it's a station wagon and it has rear wheel disc brakes. Uh, the drums is 50 bucks for the hub. The reason I'm changing out my hub is because yeah it's making that noise it's got some play at high speed it makes a winding noise as you can see it's tore up the rotor a little a little lot um, so I have to replace that eventually uh, the pads themselves are kind of wore out almost to the to the sensor so it's almost time to swap those out too uh, unfortunately right now all I'm doing is changing up this hub took off the brakes uh, caliper brake <clears throat> so that was a uh, uh, that was this one it's a 12 mil bolt and then the one that holds a bracket to that backing plate it is a 14 mil bolt so I took off the caliper to make it easier to get to the bracket bolts at least for me um, I loosened up the actual nut itself before taking anything off uh, then I took off the two screws that hold the the rotor to the hub so now it's just time to take that hub off so just real quick I do have the jack stand and the jack and up front because the parking brakes off Got a two by four, use something as a choke so that way the vehicle doesn't go forward. Um, <clears throat> so the spindle nut itself, so I'm using this 36 millimeter uh, nut remover. So give me a second. It also has that dent on there. So what I did was use this wedge it to uh, straighten out that indentation they put on there so the nut doesn't back out. So right here, when this nut gets on there, just bang it back in. That way it doesn't back out while you're driving. So hopefully pry this sucker off. Um, well that's the original one, so it might be seized in there. Try to bang it a few times, see if it'll come out. So there's a washer there. Make sure you pull that one out. Maybe it'll make this easier to come out. All right. So I'm still trying to take off the hub. So what I'm doing is banging it from right here. I don't know why I'm spinning it, but it makes me feel like it's coming off faster. And there it go. So as soon as I put my purse down, I was able to hit it just, uh, pretty hard and uh, it came out. So here's the old one. Shit, I think the race is still left on there. Son of a bitch. Um, you see the bearings? And I think that's the race. Uh, 
Let's check that out. Or maybe I'm tripping. Tripping, tripping, tripping. So there's that. So show enough, um, the race did come off. Um, the way I was able to get it off of there was to put the scraper right behind it. Just lightly tap it until it moved out as that way not to damage anything else. Uh, you could see all the rust on this. So, out with the old. Gonna wipe this up, clean it up. Probably take some sandpaper to it. And. It doesn't look score, but I'm gonna pause this and check it out. Alright, so I checked out the surface and I added some of this. Uh, caliper grease and uh, some synthetic grease I've used it before and other stuff actually works pretty good so I put some of that on there this vehicle itself has 110,000 miles on it so I'm pretty sure that's the original little assembly hub and I'm gonna install the new one and I believe it's torqued down to 133 pounds or 136 I'll add that on my description uh, once I verify the torque spec, uh, hope this helps.